Hey there, this is David Dennison with Dennison Algebra. And I want to talk real quick about the solutions videos that students have access to, what my design was for them, and what to do if you have a student that's leaning too heavily upon using them to get answers. Okay, so let's talk about what they are. When your student goes to DennisonAlgebra.com, so I'm just going to go to DennisonAlgebra.com and click on login, or in this case I'm already logged in as my daughter. So if I go to my library, and let's say she's in Algebra 1, if you click on whatever chapter they're in, let's say she's in Chapter 2, you'll see that every lesson has the lesson, the teaching video, and a solutions video right below it where I work and explain every single problem and show all the answers. Now, you might be asking, why would you give students access to all of the answers? The reason is, when I taught in um, the classroom setting, if a student was working on problems and they had a question, they got stuck and they had a question, they could raise their hand and I could immediately come and help them. And that was a great learning moment because it was fresh on their mind, they're wrestling with it, and immediately they got their answer, and that's a great learning tool. Well, at home, they don't have access to that. So it's to simulate, I want students to have the ability to have me explain a problem if they get stuck on it. So if they're working number three in the homework and they get stuck, right there while it's fresh on their mind, they can click the solutions videos, go to number three, and, and hear me explain it and, and most likely be able to tell, oh, I was missing that negative right there, or I accidentally multiplied three times two and said it was five instead of six. So they get help right there immediately. And I know as a parent, sometimes it can be tough. You're busy, it's hard to stop what you're doing and go help your student who has an algebra question. So it's to simulate getting immediate help, or if they finish a problem and they get it wrong, in the classroom, a student could raise their hand and I could come help them right then. But at home, they don't have that. So that's why I have the solutions videos right there under the lesson available to the student. Now, what to do if you have a student who's not using them correctly? So if you look at this, if, if you go into, like I went into my daughter's chapter two, I can look and see what video she has accessed. So I can see lesson 2-1, a check mark means she completed the entire lesson. She watched the whole video. Next to the solutions, it's blank. She did not access the solutions videos at all. So I can see for lesson 2-1, she did not use the solutions video. 2-2, she watched the whole thing and looks like she accessed a little less than half of the solutions video. 2-3, she didn't watch all the video. I can see like, hey, why didn't you watch the whole lesson? And then solutions, it looks like she watched the entire solutions videos. So, you know, like, hey, what's up with that? So you have access to see how they did on it. So if I click on this 2-1, if I click on that, and if she, you know, if my daughter had even just not even click play, just was kind of scrubbing through it like that, and you can see the answers start showing up there. Now, in place of the Y, I'm going to put negative 5. Ne okay, so you can see I'm explaining them. So I just watched, what, what did we just watch, five seconds of that? I just scrubbed through. But look how far we are through that video. Now, if I click black, back, it, it actually doesn't show up yet. But if you close out of it, okay, so if you want to check to see if your student watched 2-1, just close out of it, or even go to another computer, open it back up, because it just, it needs to close out to kind of refresh. But then you can see, let's see, that was 2-1 that my daughter was on. So I just want to check real quick, okay, chapter two, 2-1, oh look. It shows she at least fast forward all the way through over half the solutions videos. So one option that you can do, and it'll take a little extra work, but if our students are not doing exactly what they should do, it always takes a little extra work to help us with those character issues or help them walk uh, in the way they're supposed to. Uh, if I click on chapter seven, I can say, hey, if we're starting chapter seven, do not access any of the solutions videos or you get no credit for that assignment. 
So you need to tell your student they may not open it at all until they come and show you that they have attempted all the homework problems. Okay, so put it on them. But then you'll need to just be diligent to check real quick, did they access the solutions videos? Yes or no. And then you can tell how, uh, how much they've been using it or not. Okay, I hope that helps. Just wanted to explain that a little bit. All right, thank you so much. Bye.